violation. New Mexico has been left behind again. We were one of 11 states to ask the federal government for a waiver from the strict requirements of no child left behind. All the other states were given the okay, but not New Mexico. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live in downtown Albuquerque to explain why. Kim, in September, President Obama said states could get around no child left behind if they came up with their own standards, as long as they were similar to federal standards. Now, no child left behind says students must be proficient in reading and math by 2014. Many districts around the country say the requirements of no child left behind are flawed. That's why the waivers were offered up. New Mexico sent in an application, but the feds say we missed the mark when it came to formulating our own standards. They say New Mexico doesn't have a good high school to college transition set up. Another big concern was that our plan didn't track the achievement gap between poor students and the wealthier students, or between Anglo students and minority students. The federal government said those issues were the biggest hurdle for the new A through F state grading system that the Secretary of Education, Hannah Scandera, at the state level, presented to him. Arnie Duncan, he's the head of the Department of Education for the federal government. He says not all is lost here. New Mexico is, I think, uh, working extraordinarily hard, but just had the, the, the longest road to hoe. And uh, uh, we look forward to, to seeing them, uh, to seeing uh, a successful uh, application approved by us in the not too distant future. Feel very, very good about uh, where they're trying to go. Another complaint that the federal government has uh, had was that New Mexico didn't get a lot of input from the community, especially minority mem members, when it came to uh, setting up these standards. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Ian. Now, the state education department says they hope to have the new application into the feds by next week. An amber.